for some players, success just seems to come natural. Jarrell Jernigan holds the school record at Troy for most receptions, yards, and all-purpose yards during a career, capping off an impressive resume with team accomplishments. All four years Jernigan was with the Trojans, the team won the Sunbelt Conference Championship. So how do you follow that up as a rookie in the NFL? Winning the Super Bowl. Jernigan and the New York Giants beat the New England Patriots on February 5th to win Super Bowl 46. But just a year ago, Jernigan's focus wasn't on getting to the Super Bowl or even really about getting to play at all. I'm going to worry about getting drafted first, then I'll worry about to get the playing part next. <laughs> and as it turns out, Jernigan didn't have much to worry about. The Giants drafted him in the third round of the 2011 draft with the 83rd overall pick. But even as a rookie, Jernigan says he had Super Bowl aspirations. I mean, that's everybody dreams to make it to the Super Bowl, but it's like one of those dreams was it's 32 teams, and you know 31 teams, not well, 30 teams not going to be there, so you like, it's a slim chance, you know, and you dream about it, but you know, like, you like, especially your first year, you're like, I probably won't be there my first year, but I'm going to give it a try and see. And for me to actually be there and actually win it, that's big. From small town Alabama to the bright lights of the big city, Jernigan has had a few places he calls home. Originally from Eufaula, Troy became his second home until the big leagues called his number. Playing in the new Meadowlands or MetLife Stadium, Jernigan had to adjust to being a small fish in a big pond. I got up there, things got a little, a little frustrating for me and uh, you know, didn't get the ball as much as I wanted. Coming from Troy when I got the ball pretty much every down. So I had to, had to step into a duty spot and learn my role. And when I first got there, the, the tempo wasn't really a problem. It was like the language and the terminology to me. But as the year went on, I kept getting better and stuck with it. And it ended up to be the right thing. I mean, I won a Super Bowl in first year. I mean, can't ask for much more. I'm blessed to have that. Jernigan soon realized his talent alone wasn't enough. It was back to the film room as he dissected his new playbook. The speed wasn't a problem, it's just the terminology and the slang they use on the offense and in the playbooks. And actually getting the playbook sitting down and studying because when I was at Troy, I didn't really I didn't really open up a playbook. I you know, pretty much is better than my opponent out there. But now in the NFL, everybody's good. So you have to go in there and study film, study the playbook, take your time. So it's pretty much it is your job, so you have to perfect your job. It wasn't only adjustments on the field that Jernigan had to worry about. But lucky for him, he had a few fellow Trojans to help him out along the way. It helped a lot. Uh, when I first got there, uh, Lawrence Times, he helped me a lot when I got there, especially financial-wise when I got there. And they threw out this paperwork, gave me 401k and all this. And I go talk to them, like, hey, explain this to me. I really don't get it. I mean, they tell me about it, but I really don't get the details to it. So Lawrence helped me a lot, and OC took me in on his wings, too. Jarrell Jernigan, Lawrence Tynes, and OCU Manura, known as the Trojan Trio, received national recognition for their part in the Giants' success. These three on the same team is sort of a phenomenal thing, I guess. It's certainly been of interest to a lot of people all over the eastern seaboard and, and a lot of people in, in the state of Alabama also. But that's three great kids. All of them got degrees. All of them are smart. All of them work. All of them know how to overcome injury. And that's the reason they're there. Blakeney says Troy University aims to help train players to be leaders and champions, both at the college level and beyond. We do our best to make sure that they are trained in the, in the way of playing championship football and playing well enough to, to, uh, to uh, demonstrate how well they can play this game to enable them to have a chance to go to this next level called the NFL, which is the hardest job in America to get and the hardest job in America by far to keep. And playing championship caliber football is nothing new to the Trojan Trio. Jernigan has five rings in five years, and Tynes and Umanura doubled up their Super Bowl championships by once again defeating the Patriots in dramatic underdog fashion. My freshman year here, we, we, didn't have a, we had an okay year, not a great year, and then we just kept believing and worked hard in the offseason. And now look at me now, got four rings here, then went to Super Bowl my first year and got a ring. Jernigan says he will never forget his roots as Troy continues to give him the tools to succeed. I call, uh, especially the training staff, I call them all the time when I have little dings or whatever, and I call them like, what should I do? What should I do for this? But I stay in touch with Coach Blakeney all the time. Uh, he calls me for every game, wishing me luck, and I call him after the game, give him updates and stuff. Jernigan saw his first action on the field for the Giants in Week 5 against the Seahawks and contributed in eight games during the regular season. 
but the biggest moment of his season came during the opening kickoff of the Super Bowl. I was actually the first one to touch the ball in the beginning of the game on the kickoff return. And when the ball was in the air, all I seen was blue flashes everywhere. I'm like, okay, just pay attention to the ball, to the ball, to the ball. So when I finally tracked it in the air, I was like, okay, there it is right there. So I was good. With big dreams come big rings. The exhilaration of this momentous occasion finally dawned on this rookie when the confetti showered down at the trophy ceremony. I mean, my first year winning a ring, I mean, that's awesome. And just the feeling now, the confetti coming out on the field after the game, it's like, are you dreaming? Like, did I really just do this? Especially for my first year. I mean, like I said before, I'm just blessed. Stay tuned for more Trojan Sports Now coming up after the break. Trojan Sports Now.